Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to see some important multiple choice questions with answers from the unique linear time invariant discrete time systems. First question. Yes, discrete time convolution is possible. So already we have seen continuous time convolution that is called as convolution integral. Now we are going to see discrete time convolution. So it is possible. Option A true, option B false. The answer is option A true because discrete time convolution is called as convolution sum. Next question. How is discrete time convolution represented? So discrete time convolution can be represented as x of n star h of n. So the star symbol represents the convolution operator. So x of n star h of n. Therefore the answer is option C. Next question. What are the tools used in the graphical method of finding convolution of discrete time signals? So the options are option A plotting, shifting, folding, multiplication and addition in order. Then option B scaling, shifting, multiplication and addition in order. Option C scaling, multiplication and addition in order. Then option D scaling, plotting, shifting, multiplication and addition in order. So for graphical method the first step is plotting, then shifting, then folding, then multiplication and then addition. So the answer is option A. Next question. Choose the properties which are followed by discrete time convolution. So option A, associative, commutative, distributive. Uh, option B, associative. Option C, commutative and distributive. Option D, distributive and associative. So convolution properties are associative, commutative and distributive. So option A is the right answer. Next question. What is the convolution of a signal with an impulse? So impulse already we have seen that is del of n. So if we convolve any signal with the impulse, you will be getting the same signal. So option A is signal itself, option B impulse, option C new signal, option D signal multiplied by impulse. The answer is option A the signal itself. So any signal multiplied by an impulse function is the same signal. Next question, how can a cascade connected discrete time system represented? So cascade connection means we are connecting the systems in series manner. So if the systems are connected in series manner means then the output response will be the convolution of the system function. That means here four options are given. So y of n is equal to x of n convolution with t of n convolution with r of n. Therefore, option B is the right answer. So, always remember when the systems are connected in cascade and manner means you have to write the response in terms of its convolution. Next question, how can a parallel connected discrete time system represented? So, when the systems are connected in parallel manner means then we have to write the sum of the responses that is sum of its functions. So, four options are given y of n is equal to x of n plus t of n plus r of n. So this is the correct answer. Option A is the right answer. So when the systems are connected in series means we have to write in terms of convolution. When the systems are connected in parallel means we have to write in terms of addition. Next question. How can we solve discrete time convolution problems? So using graphical method, then option B, graphical method and tabular method. Option C, graphical method, tabular method and matrix method. Option D, graphical method, tabular method, matrix method and summation method. So the answer is option C because three methods can be used. One is graphical method, second one is tabular method and the third one is matrix method. Next question. Impulse response is the output of dash system due to the impulse input applied at time equal to 0. 
so option a linear option b time variant option c time invariant option d linear and time invariant the answer is option d linear time invariant next problem find the convolution sum of the sequences x 1 of n equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 x 2 of n is equal to 2 comma 1 comma 4 so four options are given we are going to solve this problem using tabulation method this is very very simple method so just cross multiply 2 into 1 is equal to 2 then 2 into 2 equal to 4 2 into 3 equal to 6 1 into 1 equal to 1 1 into 2 equal to 2 then 1 into 3 equal to 3 then 4 into 1 equal to 4 4 into 2 equal to 8 and 4 into 3 equal to 12 now we have to add in the diagonal manner so here we are having only 2 so the first answer is 2 then in this diagonal we are having two values 4 and 1 so we have to add 4 plus 1 that is 5 then third we have to add these three values 6 plus 2 plus 4 so it is equal to 12 so the third answer is 12 then fourth answer 8 plus 3 so 8 plus 3 is 11 then fifth answer is 12 therefore the answer is option a so next question if two LTI systems with impulse response H1 of T and H2 of T are connected in parallel, then output is given by. So here two systems are connected in parallel. The input is X of T and output is Y of T. Now we can write Y of T equal to. These two are in parallel. Therefore we can write H1 of T plus H2 of T. Then this answer is in series with X of T. So, if both are in series means then we have to write the convolution symbol. Therefore, y of t equal to x of t convolution of h1 of t plus h2 of t. Therefore, answer is option A. So, the next question, the overall impulse response. So, h of t overall impulse response we have to calculate it. Of the system is given by. So, here the system is given x of t is the input then y of t is the output here we have to find out the overall impulse response that is overall h of t so these two h h1 of t and h2 of t are in parallel therefore we have to add h1 of t plus h2 of t then again it is in series which h3 of t therefore we have to take convolution with h3 of t then h4 of t is in parallel but here we are having subtraction symbol therefore you have to write h of t equal to h1 of t plus h2 of t convolution with h3 of t minus h4 of t. So, the answer is option A. Next question, the causal continuous system with impulse response should satisfy dash equation. So, causal, causal means h of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0. That means you will be having only right hand side sequence, no left hand side sequence. So right hand side sequence means t greater than 0. t less than 0, its value will be equal to 0. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Next question. The impulse response of discrete time signal is given by h of n is equal to u of n plus 3. Whether the system is causal or not. So, u of n plus 3, automatically it comes in the left hand side also. If the signal comes in left hand side means, then it is not causal. So, option B is the right answer. Next question, what is the output of the system represented by the following direct form? So, this is the structure given. For this, we have to find out the output response. So, four options are given. Among these four options, option C is the right answer. That is, y of n is equal to minus a1 y of n minus 1 then minus a2 y of n minus 2 plus b0 x of n plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2. Next question. An FAR system is also called as recursive system. So FAR means finite impulse response. So for FAR system there will be no feedback. Therefore that system is called as non-recursive system. So, option B is the right answer. That is, it is false. The above statement is false. 
Next question. If the system is initially relaxed at time n is equal to 0 and memory equals to 0, then the response of such state is called as option A, 0 state response, option B, 0 input response, option C, 0 condition response and option D, none of the above mentioned. The answer is option A, 0 state response. Next question, 0 state response is also known as option A, free response, option B, forced response, option C, natural response, option D, none of the above mentioned. The answer is option B, forced response. Next question, x of n convolution with h1 of n convolution with h2 of n is equal to x of n convolution with h1 of n, the whole convolution with h2 of n. So, according to associative property, the above statement is true. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Next question, is the system with impulse response h of n is equal to 2n into u of n minus 1 is stable? So, here option B is the right answer. That is, the above statement is false because it is unstable. Next question, which block of the discrete time system requires memory in order to store the previous input? So, in order to store the previous input, we will be using delay element. That is, unit delay. It consists of shift register for storing the values. So, option C is the right answer. Next question, which type of discrete time system do not exhibit the necessity of feedback? So, if there is no feedback means then it is called as non-recursive system. So, option B is the right answer. The best example is FAR. Which among the following belongs to the category of non-recursive system? So, non-recursive system means it does not have any feedback. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Castle FAR system. Then, what does the term Y of minus 1 indicate, especially in an equation that represents the behavior of causal system? Option A, initial condition of the system. Option B, negative initial condition of the system. Option C, negative feedback condition of the system. Option D, response of the system to its initial input. The answer is option A. Initial condition of the system. Next question. Which among the following operation is involved or associated with the computation process of linear convolution? Option A. Folding operation. Option B. Shifting operation. Option C. Multiplication operation. Option D. Integration operation. So, the answer is option D. Integration operation. I hope you all have understood the MCQ questions. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.